when we have a moment of gratitude and we're thankful and we have appreciation and we can deconstruct the lack of appreciation or the lack of intuition that's guided within that and see that when we use our words, we allow ourselves to speak things into existence. So in this moment in time, I thank everybody who's ever connected with me, who's ever booked a private session with me, who has ever received on the healing lives with me, I thank you. But allow yourself to find things in your life that you're thankful for, and when you allow yourself to do that, you'll see you'll have appreciation for the challenge through the tribulation, through the experiences that help you morph into that metamorphosis of you shape-shifting into the person that you're supposed to be. So when we allow ourselves to just be thankful for the experiences that we had within our own trauma, within our own past, within the things that we are withholding from ourselves even now, when we're thankful towards that and not hateful, judgmental, projecting our own narcissistic sludge, and we allow ourselves to really be thankful for the people that we meet, the people that we have relationships with, the people that we had parents with and stuff like that. So it's understanding that everybody has a role to play within your own journey. And understanding this is that everybody plays a particular role of how you are becoming who you are within your own maturation of the soul. So the transfiguration of the soul is when we balance the mind, the body, and the spirit with our gut instincts, with our spirit, and using the embodiment of the spirit, and being led by the wisdom of spirit. So this means that we're guided by intuition, by flow, by connection, by the messages that resound within our heart. And we use that as a tool of balancing the masculine and the feminine and the inner child as one. So understanding being thankful means that you're thankful for the things that try to come against you. You're thankful for the very fact that you're still here and that you're still living and that you are here to explore whatever it is that you're supposed to explore within this earth plane. So everything that you go through in a series of life events, experiences, manifestations, seeing that we get to live this bittersweet experience one last time maybe, or maybe we experience it again, I don't know, I can't really answer that for you. But it means that just living within the experience, living the very fact that you do get to meditate, you do get to live, you do get to have the things that you do get to have. And I think sometimes that's just enough. And I think when we always want more and we always have to boast about our manifestations, our cars, our businesses, etc., cetera, um, at the end of the day, we are not here to play God. We are here just to be a representation of God, a reflection of God, an intuition of God's source energy and the create I am, but everything else is just minuscule. That baseline foundation of just being at peace, being happy with what you have, being content, being present, you know, and I think that is more important than anything else because you could have all those things and still be unhappy and for unfulfilled and not really enjoying life or having fulfilling relationships. Or, you know, even the relationship that you have with yourself or you're not even able to meditate as good as you want to meditate. So there's a lot of different variables that come with that. So it's understanding that being in the here and the now and the present and the glory of the present moment sometimes takes us into many different variations of what we're supposed to experience. And sometimes all the time that we get is the time that we have right at this moment. So it's understanding just make the most of this moment and don't squander it. And just know that if we just have this moment and have this time and do the things that we need to do and we get to just enjoy even like glimpses of happiness because there's a lot of people on this earth who don't even enjoy uh, a single glimpse of happiness, it's always chaotic, it's always brain dead, it's always just a revolving door. Um, but sometimes when we see that we've had just moments of bliss, that's pretty damn good compared to other people who don't get it or that they have a worse situation than you or they're poor or they're enslaved and things of that nature. So it's kind of like sometimes when we want all the things that we want and we're ungrateful for the things that we don't have, then it kind of defeats the purpose almost. So it's kind of like, just be happy, just be grateful, just be thankful, and 
just be thankful for the second chance that we get on this life.